we want to be able to add a user here and the whole process of adding a user to this list will be automatic because if we go to our uh, new user um, what is this the user not the controller but the model the user's model these um, they make school ID when we create a user so let's check that out and it's right over here so in this one it checks to see if the school ID is set in the session and then it will add it there so whatever school ID we have at the time in the session that's the school ID the new user we create is going to assume okay so that is okay but I did make a mistake at some point let me close all these files here close all files uh, if we go to the school model there is a function here where I checked for the school ID but instead I added the user ID so this works just fine there's nothing wrong with this it's just that it's better to check for exactly what we want to add so I'll put user ID there not really a big deal it will still work even the way it was somebody just uh, pointed this out to me okay so I'm going to close that now what we want is actually everything is already set here so if I click add user here I want to add an admin a normal admin for that school so John John uh, I don't know uh, I've run out of names here so let's put John at yahoo.com this is obviously a male let's make him an admin to the particular school we are creating so that will be an admin and let's use the same password as password so that it's easy for us to log in and log out and then let's add this user so this is a thing it takes me to the login page when I sign up now this is the old way because from now on we're going to be uh, we are not going to be users are not going to be logging in signing up before they are logged in so this is unnecessary so we'll go to the um, signup.php instead of redirecting to the login we redirect to users now okay great so if I now go to users I don't need to log in here because I'm already logged in you see that now I have somebody new and this one is the admin of this particular school so you know what school you are in by looking at that so let's go back to schools here and try to switch to a different school and go to staff members you see that uh, oh wait a minute this is not right at all so let's see here if I go to another school this is John school and let's say this one switch to that one come back oh I haven't switched have I so that isn't working at all hmm okay so there's something fishy going on here that's school number one school number two and it's not shifting hmm not cool okay so let's see what's going on here now what I will do is let me go to my nav situation here and let's do some debugging so <clears throat> nav view right there so what I want is just to echo out um, let me go in the content itself just after everything here I think right at the end so let's put some PHP tags and let's do a print readable print R now I don't I like to put pre tags all the time so let me just go to functions and add a helper here I'm just going to call this one uh, function show like this 
and whatever data I put in there, I'm just going to print it out. So I'll echo some pre-tags first. Let me close that pre-tag so it doesn't mess everything below it up. And then I will print readable whatever is inside data, like so. Okay, great. So because I've done that now, I can just use show. And I want to see what's inside this session. And then close that. Okay. So let's now refresh the page. So this is what is in our session. We have the school name and the school ID right there. So let's take note of the ID and the name if the, any of them will change. So we have 0PB. So let's select this one instead. So nothing is changing here when I click switch 0PB. Hmm. Okay, so that's better. It means uh, things are just not working on the other side. So what I'll do is um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -huh. Let's go back to our auth here. Switch school. So maybe it's returning false for some reason. So let's see, user rank super admin. So let's see if the rank is changed. Mm -hmm. Where is the rank? Okay, rank is super admin, so that's okay. Which means we do get to this part. So why does it not return true? Hmm. Okay, update ID. Let me come back here. Let's see the ID. There we go. Number one. Hmm. Let me undo what I did here so I can still see what I'm doing. Okay, so the best way to figure things out here is to put echoes around here. So first of all, I'm just going to echo this. Uh, let me go to, in fact, before I even do that, let me go back to switch school. Let me mute the redirect so that if there are any errors, I will see them. So I'm just going to switch to this one. So I don't know why that is echoing out. Why is that being echoed? I have no idea. Set school ID where ID is equal to ID. Okay. Why is that doing that? Refresh. Okay. Undo that. Let's go to switch schools. So switch school. It's updating. So it means I think I left something. Let's go to uh, the model, main model in core. Maybe I may have left an echo somewhere in the update. Where is the update? Right here. Oh, there we go. Echo query. Something like that. Okay. Hmm. So the query looks fine. All right. So what I would do is let me go back. Let me see what's here and let's see what's in the table. So refresh in the table in the users table that is so what id do i have here this is the username id number one but what school id so the school id has changed right there it has changed uh-huh let's test it again so back to the auth, the switch school, sorry. Open that up. 
and let's try to switch the page again so let me try to go to this one again I want to see if that changes so click here and it has changed to match this one then let me switch to this one come back here and it has changed so which means uh, our system is running fine the only problem is the um, the one in this session isn't changing that's where the problem is so it means our fault is right about here this is returning true it's changing but this is not so instead let's just remove the if statement it's causing us problems because it's not returning the proper true or false so close this close that let's come back here like this alrighty then that should solve the problem so let me come back and yes let's switch to this one you see it's changing there let's switch to this one it does change again okay pretty good okay so back to the nav let's remove this view the echoing of content and let me switch again okay there we go now that i've switched to that one if i go to the stuff i just see myself if i go back to the other school uh, this one i come back here there are two users okay so two users here you see that's the name of the school go back here let's select a different school i'll just see myself so we are switching between schools when we do this okay so for now let's stick to this one right here i'll see you in the next video